itself is really impressive. Oh wow, Wario's telling me to hurry up. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, well, I guess we're playing, let's go. By the way, later on I'll be playing with one of the mod's playtesters, so that'll be pretty cool. All right, we're gonna start things off on Final Destination. Wow, his intro animation's really cool too. Dude, his animations are so clean. Just look at this, man. Wow. Oh, wow, they have unrestricted camera now, too. That's sick. This is this is incredible. Like, I don't think people understand just how cool this is. This is also new, too. You can press A to show match stats. That is interesting. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Wario on one of the newer maps. Oh, no way. That sounds awesome. Okay, so Wario. So for jabs, he's rocking the... 1-2, not bad. Does he get a 3 if he lands a hit? No, he doesn't, so he has a 1-2. Dash attack. Oh my gosh, he rolls into a ball? What? No way, that's insane. Holy cow. It looks so clean and feels very fluid. His forward smash is um, him just doing like a body slam thing. Okay, that's pretty darn good. Down smash. Oh my gosh. No way, they made Wario so animated. This reminds me of Smash 2. Who remembers Smash 2 Wario, man? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I love the animation. Up Smash is a big punch up. Yeah, that's pretty darn solid. Let's look at the tilts really quick. So for forward tilt, we got like a big side. It's a slap. It makes a slap sound. Oh my gosh, dude, this is funny. This is a really good mod. <laughs> He just slaps, dude! Oh my gosh, that's too good. Okay, up tilt. It's like a combo starter, not bad. Down tilt, quick little jab. Probably good for edge guarding, you know? Dang, dude. The level of detail here. I am so impressed, man. That slap. The slap and the squish do it alone, man. That's amazing. Wow, there's his victory animation, sound, and everything. Wow, so cool. All right, so here we are on Smashville. Now, something I mentioned in the last video I made about this mod was that the platforms didn't work. Well, now they do. Moving platforms, ladies and gentlemen. This is incredible, dude. I, This is the definitive way to play Smash 64. Maybe I'll do like a follow-up video in the future where I show like my controller setup because I'm using a GameCube controller right now and I have like full access to the C-Stick and everything. So maybe I'll do like a tutorial on how to get the ultimate Smash 64 experience in the future. Subscribe if you want to see that. All right, let's do aerials. So you saw a sneak peek. Wario has the clap for his up air. Okay, I like it. It's like keeps your enemies in the air. Not bad. For forward air, he just puts out a big old kick. Not bad at all. His down air is like a multi-stomp thing. Okay. It's like a multi-hit move. Probably really good for combos. I wonder if it's a good edge guard. For back air, we have... <laughs> Wario thrusts everything he has at his enemies. Oh my goodness. Wow. He really has the junk, bro. Dang, okay, nice. And then for neutral air, he's got the classic dad belly, just tossing it out, no big deal. Wow, these are so fitting of Wario, man. They really thought of everything. Speaking of moving platforms, now the platforms move in Fountain of Dreams. So um, I don't like Fountain of Dreams, but for people who do like Fountain of Dreams, uh, you get a little bit of this action going on, so that's cool. All right, let's do throws, so we have Wait, I forget. Is there throws in Smash 64? I always forget. So I'm gonna grab. I think it's just one throw, but it's very fitting. He holds him over the head and then he just kind of yeets him. Okay, that's fun. I believe this is one of the newer maps because I don't recognize this one, but let's go ahead and finish showing off Wario's moveset. So let's do his B attacks. So neutral B is the goal. No way. Go! <laughs> That's too funny. And it's got a nice bounce to it, man. That's some good impact. 
So you could probably get some crazy offstage stuff with this. Yeah, look at that. It's a good recovery tool, too. Dang. Is it fall state after you use it? I think so. I think that's fall state. Yeah. Okay. Then for Uppy, he's got his classic... It's a multi-hit and it carries people up. Wow. It feels so legit, man. It blows my mind. This feels like this could have been in Smash 64. And it, yeah, you can just do it from the ground, too. That's awesome. For Down B... Yes, he has the slam! Is it bounce? Please tell me it's bounce. It's not bounce, but you can angle it while you're going down. Like, look, I have control. I can go left. I can go right. And then side B. Just kidding. There's no side B. Come on, guys. Okay, I just did it off stage and was able to recover after. So maybe you just have to fall a reasonable amount of distance before you can recover. But yeah, man. I think we showed off the full moveset. That is so fluid. I love it. Okay, really quick. Let's go ahead and look at Wario's alternate costumes. So, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, so we have a red skin that we've seen in other games. A turquoise one. I don't think I've seen this somewhere else. This looks nice. Ooh, the pink and blue. I like this color scheme. Okay, we have the uh, white and black. The Waluigi skin. I respect it. Looks really nice. And then back to default. So a nice variety of colors. I think all of these are really great choices. I don't dislike a single one. So are you one of the devs for the so project? <clears throat> So I, I don't I don't do any of the programming. Um, I make the promotional content for them, and I play test and I help with uh, like gameplay dev. Okay. But yeah, I don't I don't do any of the actual programming. Um, more of in on that on in that uh, area, I'm more more of an advisor. Okay, that makes sense. So you just give like um, feedback based on like things you think need adjusting or yeah but you don't always want to be like the only one yeah that makes sense so does that mean you're like a top player i'm i'm pretty decent i uh what did i i got, I got ranked like 30 something oh wow uh, 20, 2018 okay I'm okay as the league's better than anyone i've ever played in 64. so is this one of the newer maps i haven't played this, this one before. this one came out in the Christmas release, um, with, uh, Dark Samus. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was in the trailer, I remember. Yeah, it was in the, uh, it was, like, the, we had, like, a credits thing. Mm, that's right, yeah. Wait, so is that a legit tactic to get back? <laughs> yeah, it, it advances you forward a little. Um, like, you'll see Captain Falcon players do it all the time. Oh, really? I've never seen that before. So is Falcon yeah. Kick kind of useless in this one? Falcon Kick is not great. It's mostly like a kind of a surprise move. I get you, I get you. It blows my mind that like, if you play like vanilla 64, there's so many things you take for granted, especially if you play like a lot of Smash games. Like um, just the fact that like FD and Battlefield aren't even playable stages. Oh yeah. And then I remember the first time I heard about like 19XX or whatever it is. Oh yeah, that was like October 2015 is when that came out. Yeah, I didn't even hear about it until 2017. But yeah, I was like, wait, this is cool. Like, this is what I've been looking for. And then Smash Remix hits the scene, and it's like, cool, now this game has DLC. <laughs> yeah, like, it, uh, 19XX came about just because, really, we just wanted a timer in stock mode. Oh, that's true, yeah. And we didn't have one. Mm -hmm. So, like, it it added the timer, and it added some of, like, the one-player mode stages, like, you know, Battlefield, FD, mm -hmm. Metal Mario stage. Um, and the first... It wasn't until, like, January 2016 that the first big tournament used 19XX for the timer. Nintendo doesn't really get bothered about that just because it's more no. key. Now nah, we were we were memeing about that the other day. It's like, Dang. you know, melee tournament sponsored by Nintendo can't use UCF 64 running on like the most hacked shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's such a double standard.
And it still it still upsets me to this day that PM just got completely axed because of Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, um, Project NX just got uh, letters from Nintendo. No way. Yeah, yeah. That's some insane. of the some of the uh, remix guys were like kind of nervous. I'm sure. Oh yeah, okay. dude. We added uh, moving platforms. Yeah, I saw that. I was so, excited. That's so good. Yeah, I agree. It, it totally makes like Smashville like a legit experience. I don't even think I've played Dark Samus yet. I was so happy with Dark Samus when she came out. She's just so fun. Yeah, she feels pretty unique. I was about to say, this doesn't feel like a clone character. Yeah, it's like she's similar enough to Samus, but definitely her own character. Yeah, definitely. Can you grapple in 64? No. Oh, okay. Not, not yet. <laughs> not yet? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just a matter of like, so each character model, they have this little like purple diamond in their in their model that uh is their ledge grab. Okay. So as soon as you just implement a, an attack that extends that, then someone can have a grapple. Interesting. That'd be sick. So you said the devs don't intend on changing original characters already, so does that mean they wouldn't give Link or Samus one? Just Dark Samus? Right. Okay. Like, they could give Young Link one. Okay. Are they not doing that just so like people can still use it in tournament or whatever? Uh, it's not just about that. It's just like they don't want it to turn into that kind of a project. Where it's I, yeah, like, yeah. oh, now we're now we're, we're balancing the game, you know? Like, yeah, they, yeah. They want this. They really want it to just be Additional. like remix is like actually a terrible name for it because <laughs> they they're they're actually not doing that. That's true. <laughs> like they're not remixing anything. They're only adding things. That is very true. What would they just add it? They would call it maybe 64 Deluxe? That's what yeah, I Yeah, mean. exactly. Like, you call it, like, Smash 64 DX or something. Like, but yeah. it's not It's not a remix. Yeah, DX wouldn't be bad. Wait, was that, like, a link between... Yeah, what the heck? Six that's one? a six... Yeah, that's a six skin. Is yeah, that I always there? Uh, no, it got added. Okay, I was going to say, I swear I would have said something about that. When I, that's so cool. I like that. Yeah, there's some there's some good ones. They added they added so much good stuff in here. Um, this this stage, oh, it's like right. it, it, like it's a whatever stage to play on, but it looks amazing now. Yeah, I have turtles here. Any moves I saw it moves in the trailer. Yeah, I wonder if I can go under it. Oh, not if it goes down. Oh, you can come back though, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I can't decide if I think... I mean, it has to be an improvement, the top platform being able to jump through. Oh, yeah. I mean, it would, in this game, it would be just ridiculous, because, again, you can't tech walls. Yeah. So you'd just be bouncing off the ceiling like crazy. That's true. 64 is going to be the first smash with Waluigi. Just just wait. Oh, yeah. oh wait, where's, where's Big Blue? Big Blue is incredible now. I think it's the next one over. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's do it. This stage is amazing now. Yeah, I remember looking at it, I was like, no way, they got this working. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. This is really exciting, though. I would say, um, not that I really thought about much, like, what characters you guys are going to add, but the fact that, like, this was the first character that's not a clone, it just... Oh, yeah. It's exciting. It makes you wonder, like, what else is in store for the future. Yeah, and, like, since this is, you know, not a for-profit thing at all, it... Mm -hmm what character gets in is really just comes down to what who wants to spend a lot of time making a character and which character they do they want to make yeah that's true you know yeah. like this this one like one guy really wanted to make wario and he put a ton of time into wario and now we have wario yeah that's insane so that's that's really what it comes down to like people are like oh you know do bowser do chic do marth do whatever and it's like it, if someone wants to <laughs> Glacial River. Some, some some Marvel's Capcom. That's where this is from. Okay, I wasn't able to because like what happened was before I called you, I just I just kind of snooped around, just kind of gave everything a little look, and uh, I had no idea where this is from. Yeah, um, I think a lot, probably most of the Smash community doesn't because they're so used. You know, they just don't really know that much about FGC outside of Smash. 
Yeah, I agree. I don't. I don't know anything about any fighting games. I know Ryu, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Terry, who? Yeah, never heard of him. Yeah, I think especially like the younger, the younger Smash crowd. Yeah. Cause like me, like yeah, I grew up with, like Mortal Kombat one, two, three, like Street Fighter two. Mm -hmm. So like there were all these other fighting games first that we played. Yeah, that's true. Smash. And then there was Smash. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Wario's pretty. Uh, you can play pretty adventurous with him off stage. Yeah, yeah, he definitely. He, he's got some stuff. I think my favorite move is the down smash. Oh, so I think it it actually moves his hurt box up enough that if someone shield grabs, they'll miss. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Okay, you want me to go over here? Yeah. Only. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, like crazy. I just yeah. That was that was the design intent with it. It's pretty cool. That's super cool. Yeah, I, I love the animation too. Just it's so Wario, like him squishing down. Yeah, no 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 bike and no farts. <laughs> <laughs> it's really like all from Wario Land. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm totally I'm totally okay without the bike. I personally like I think um Wario's a lot better without a bike. Because I think in Project Demi doesn't have his bike either. Yeah, I don't know when the bike got added. I was never, like I didn't I'm not very familiar with Wario games, but like I was gonna use this song um, in the trailer, but then one of the devs got kind of nervous about using like third-party songs. Yeah. And like didn't uh, again with like with Project NX getting getting the letter, and so I just used something else instead. But yeah. I like this one. I like this I, one so much more. This is a pretty good song. I love the Ford tilt too. It's a slap. Oh, it's a big old that that thing used to reach farther. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sound too. <laughs> it's just a legit slap. Is that the fan sound effect? Yeah, <laughs> that's too good. So you must know like literally every nook and cranny of this mod since you like play test. Uh, I I know a lot of it. Yeah, I'm not like really into all the training mode stuff. So I'm not as familiar of like with everything you can do in training mode. Okay. Um, Cause they, a lot of features got added in the last version of 19XX to training mode. Um, and then that got incorporated into this. Right. There it is. <laughs> but if you just mouse over and before you select, you push the D-pad up, see down yeah. is poly, up is giant. That's super cool. And, uh, some yeah, some characters have a regional variant like this is you know Japanese Samus. Mm -hmm. That's and sick. Like Japanese Samus, the EU Link, um, Japanese Ness are the regional variants that are in now. There'll be more next time. That's super um, and, cool. then, and then yeah, Metal Mario and Giant DK and Polygons. So. I know I know literally nothing about competitive sixty four. What does Japanese NES have that makes it like super cool or like? Um, so like the Japanese versions of characters, um, some of them, their moves, will send people in different trajectories. Um, sometimes hitboxes are bigger or smaller. Um, jump heights could be different. Um, the actual character model could be. Uh, larger or smaller. Really? It, like, it, yeah, it just depends on the character. Like, Ness, one big thing about Japanese Ness is um, his up air is, like, ridiculous. It's, like, so much better. Um, and so it makes him, like, a, like, an okay character in the Japanese version as opposed to, like, a bad character. So Japanese Ness is better than American Ness? Yeah, like, objectively. Interesting. What about EU Link? Anything going on there? Uh, his jump, his like forward smash is way stronger, and he has better jumps and air speed. Okay. And is... I think he, I think he might be taller. Interesting. So is he objectively better too? Yes. Uh, the 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 U version of Link is like not good. It sucks. I mean, Link uh, kind of sucks all the time in general, but yeah. Yeah, the Japanese version is also pretty good um there's like a, a few changes but like his up tilt is ridiculous 
Interesting. He got he got nerfed. He got nerfed hard. It was yeah. unfortunate. Like DI is like kind of cut in half on the Japanese version. Wow. Okay. So like, the combos are truer. It's just harder to get out of things. That's 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 it's like terrifying. it's a lot less forgiving. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna hit you with the giant DK. All right. Oh shoot, okay. <laughs> I had to make it as ridiculous as possible. <laughs> I kind of want to see Giant DK on this stage. Okay. Because <laughs> it'll just, it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah, he's like Hulk. I'm sure it's easy to land a rest though, because I'm just so massive, right? It should be. Oh man. Oh. Is Giant DK better or is it just like neutral a little bit? Because he's slower. It's something? it's weird. I don't really know. I don't think. I don't think too many people know all the properties of Giant DK. <laughs> yeah, dude. You gotta add to the Giant DK Wikipedia page. He needs it. Oh god. <laughs> I, like, I really hope he doesn't up tilt. <laughs> wow. Seriously? Uh, DK's, DK's up tilt is crazy strong in general, but like it's the cooldown frames on it are, like last forever, so you just don't see it as much. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no. Okay. <laughs> no side B. Yeah. It's always a weird thing to get used to. It's funny, like, how many people we have calling uh, Wario's attack a side B. Yeah. And it's like, well. And it's like it's Falco. Not. Like Falco's yeah, yeah. is like a side B, but it's it's neutral B. Yeah. Yeah. We can pretend. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Giant DK, kind of a good character. Definitely better than regular DK. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's gotta be. God, Japanese DK is so bad. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. I was just in Japan for uh, and like I played in a tournament and stuff, and I would have used DK, but like he's just so bad. Damn. Is is DK he's like mid tier, right? No, he's low tier for sure. Oh, okay. But like he has a couple like he can do well. Low tiers can do well in this game, mostly because of matchup unfamiliarity. Okay, that but makes they, sense. But they get exposed like pretty hard by the top tiers. Yeah. This looks sick. So there's a <clears throat> there's a few stages that are just copies of Dreamland. But like a skin. Yeah, and this this is one of them. That's good, because then it's like, you know it's competitive, but you get a little bit of a fresh look. Jeez, okay. Wow. <laughs> I, had, I had to get that once. I'm happy. I, <laughs> I was like, thinking about how badly I'm going to mess it up, like, using different C buttons or whatever. No, but dude, no. I respect the 64 hustle. That's sick. I like this track. I think overall this is like a really good dreamland. Oh, yeah, I love it. it like, I'm a... Part of me is bothered by the fact that it's on the like we're on Criteria on the surface of Zeeves, but it's playing a track from Brinstar. But you know it's whatever. There's oh, there's so much music in this in this hack now. There's like a, almost a hundred tracks I think. If you go to sound test and music. Yeah, I saw that when you could turn on and off the stages and stuff. I was like, oh my god, there's so many things here. And um, stages got alternate music. No way. Like alternate tracks. Like this is not the main track for this stage. That's wild. Oh yeah, this is Mock Rider. Yeah. That's super cool. So the way you described like the workflow, you said one of the devs just decided to pour a ton of time into Wario. Um, I don't know how much you're allowed to say, but are you saying that the characters that are decided for this project are... Is it pre-planned or is it just kind of spur of the um, moment? There's like a list of characters that they want to do but nothing's um, like official yet there's... no there's nothing official everything is a, a definitely maybe okay that makes sense um is there enough characters on this list to fill up the rest of the slots uh yeah yeah they can, they can fill... i mean they're working on you know adding more slots the only really? thing that the only thing that they're actually limited by is memory that's, like, true. that's that's the that's the only real limiting factor here. Everything else, eventually, they can just figure out how to do. Okay, so 
If memory is the only limitation, that means the limitation would be because you're trying to get it to run on original hardware, correct? Yes. Uh, that is that is like one of the main things that they care about okay. is being able to run on. They they don't. They're not going to want to work on it anymore if it can't run on console. Okay, that makes sense. I've seen that happen more with 64 hacks in general recently. Like the the Mario community um, recently started making all of their hacks able to run on console. Yeah, I think it's a nice little like additional perk. I mean, it's it's kind of the same philosophy with like there's a lot of brawl mods out there. Like the crazy ones, like Smash Infinite, where there's like over a hundred characters, like that can't run on original hardware. But like, right, um, a lot of the the big name ones, the popular ones, like they'll make sure that it runs on original. Because I feel like you're isolating a part of your audience if you, you know. Right, and and with like in the last few years with the prevalence of of flash cards like EverDrive and stuff, more people want to play on console because they can. That's true. Yeah. Like before, you you just couldn't. So it didn't really matter. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you can. So why why not? Like why not put forth the whatever extra effort so that people can play on their consoles? Yeah, I think that's a good design philosophy. But that's wild. So basically, you're saying that the devs don't really even have like an end goal in mind. They just want to keep adding until they run out of memory or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because it, it, it is, it's just a, it's a, a for fun project. It's like, let's just keep doing this until we can't or we don't want to. <laughs> That's super cool. I like, it's, it, I like that approach. It's like, it sounds just really chill versus like, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of mods out there where they take things too seriously and it ends up just causing drama and it eventually just tanks the whole thing. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's what happens when there's money involved for sure. What do you um, mean by there's been projects like, uh, for money. Well, yeah, like if this were a Kickstarter and it was, you know, all these people donated money for it, then working on it would be different. That's you know, true. Because you, you, you are like building a product for customers. That's true. As opposed to making something for fans for fun. Yeah. And I was like, you know, the YouTube channel isn't monetized. Like no money is being made off of this at all. Wow, really? I did not expect that. The YouTube channel is not monetized? Nope. Wow. And there's, you know, I'm like, I've talked to the, like, the lead about this. I'm like, you, it's, it's not like the worst thing ever if you monetize the YouTube channel and, you know, it's whatever. He's like, he won't accept any donations, like nothing. Like there's, there's no money being made anywhere. Is that his way of ensuring that Nintendo can't do anything about it? Because that's... That's definitely part of it, um, okay. but another part is is also like, well, that's like like the YouTube revenue, sure. But like, not accepting donations is, I guess it's kind of like, I don't know. When people start accepting donations for things, they're like, no matter what they think, they're allowing, they're getting to the point where they're allowing a little bit of influence in. That's true. Um, That's very true. Because so someone, it's just yeah, yeah. Someone who gives like, money. Oh, I just, I just gave you like four hundred dollars. You know, how are you not doing this for me? Yeah. No, I get that. Oh yeah, Onet. This was wild. When I saw the car, I was like, no. Yeah. Way, dude. <laughs> I was they, like, people are gonna lose their mind when the car goes by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a classic, dude. Kids getting hit by a car. The sequel. Yes. Oh god. It's all I wanted in my game. Yeah, me too. Okay, here's another random question. I don't know if you know the answer to this one. If the devs really wanted to, not that they will, could they add side B's to the game? Oh yeah, sure. Interesting. So they could just add a new input to the game. So does that mean like, if they really wanted to, not that they would, but they could do like wacky stuff like in Project M where like taunts or attacks or something? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, there was a mod that came out like, I guess like like two years ago now, um, where it just gave everyone like ridiculous OP stuff. Is it, it Imagine 64? Super... No, it was called Super Burgle Bros. Okay. 
um, I don't know why, like, I don't know where the name came from. It sounds pretty legit. <laughs> it was hilarious. Like, a lot of moves were, like, one-hit kills, and, like, Luigi's Taunt had, like, this massive one-hit KO hitbox on it. That's hilarious. It, like, it's just, it's ridiculous. It was great. And it was just this guy that, like, was trying to learn how to edit the game. Okay. And, you know, it was just, he just did a bunch of stuff for fun, and it was pretty fun. Here, I'm gonna and, write then this he, down. and then he just stopped. Yeah, Super Burgle Bros. I'm Burgle not sure where you can... spelled like B U R G L E. Yeah, I'm not sure where you can find it. But yeah, so like, right, like they got their own state. Like this is all totally custom. That's so cool. Like, like no one, no one has this stage. Um, so that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I saw the footage for this. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> 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 but yeah, the loudest thing in this game. <laughs> I love Wario's strut. Oh yeah, that's like another thing. Like all of these animations have to be programmed in too. Like the diff the three different walk animations, run animations, falling, jumping. Like there's yeah. just so much that has to go into making a character. Yeah, I'm really like I was impressed. I mean. I haven't played a lot of 64 mods, so maybe I wasn't given the game enough credit, but I was just really impressed with the level of polish when it came to. Oh, yeah. Like, how so th this attacked. is going to be the one you'll struggle with. Oh, okay. Like, if you don't stick jump, angle up, jump, angle up, up B, like, if your timing isn't right, like, you're not, just not going to get it. <laughs> That's why. It's pretty, it's pretty tight. You can also play one player mode with a remix character now. Oh, okay. Which, which you you could not do that before. Um, so I think something you should include in your video is you beating Master Hand with a remix character. Okay. Because the uh, there's like a custom congratulations screen for all of the remix characters and the variants and, and all of that. Really? It's just, it's, just, it's just really dumb and goofy. That's cool. It was like the most Japanese thing we could think of. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. <laughs> Style and, and classic. You could even do one player mode as Giant DK. Oh, that's right. That Okay, that's pretty you know? funny. Or, or Metal Mario. That's hilarious. Or that's poly cool. characters if you want to miss it, like have some yeah. missing moves. Yeah, yeah. No no B moves is and no grab. <laughs> that's how I always wanted to play. Dude, he plays so like toxic and classic. <laughs> just I can't like... believe I didn't lose the stock there. <laughs> I'm not used to playing it in, on easy. I like <laughs> when you play it on uh, very hard. Like you just get used to um, like all the patterns. Like they all, you know, they do certain things at certain times. So you like you know where they're going. Right. Easy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the route. Yeah, it's truly the more unpredictable. Come here. It's like objectively better for speedrunning, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, I didn't think it would reach. Not bad. So he gets his little rag doll. Yeah, I did. That's funny. I, I didn't know because you could never beat it with uh, remix characters until now. That's super cool. So when 64 was like the newest game, was there always that rumor where it's like, oh, if you hit all the credits, blah, 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 happened? Oh, yeah, dude. There we go. <laughs> That's so cool. I like that. That's amazing. Full poly full polygon Yoshi to, to balance out the image. Yeah. That's that's great. Thanks for like showing me a bunch of like the more hidden stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs>